Well, things are starting to ramp up a little bit in the tropical Atlantic, and you know, we've had a really quiet start to the season. We had our three named systems, and it's been a long time. We made it through most of July and all of August without a named system. That's likely gonna change today. Take a look here. You can see we are getting to the peak of the hurricane season now that we're into September, the next couple of weeks. This is go time typically and historically for the Atlantic. The three named systems, Alex, Bonnie, and Colin, those were all early in the season. They were all shorties. They didn't last very long, just a, a few days here and there, really not a lot of activity. We may have Danielle develop later this afternoon. Earl is the next name in line, and we've got a couple areas we're watching really, really carefully. Right now, things are quiet in the Gulf of Mexico, across the Caribbean, mostly quiet, although there is some convection here in the western part of the Caribbean, we'll at least keep an eye to. The three areas of greatest concern for potential development, we have our new tropical depression in the North Atlantic. We've got a wave here off the African coast near the Cape Verde Islands that just is having a really hard time developing. In fact, the Hurricane Center has lowered the chances of development a little bit with that. And then we have this cluster of storms that we've been watching carefully for days and days. It's an area of investigation, 91L, and there's still potential for that to develop chances about 80% over the next three to five days. So we're watching that carefully. Here's a look at our depression. And again, this thing is a fish storm. It is out there in the uh, North Central Atlantic and it's not really gonna impact us in any way. And really it should kind of do its thing over the North Atlantic away from land. So we're gonna watch that. And again, we're seeing some more convection around 91L here, this area of investigation, but it's really had a hard time coming together. Let me give you the forecast from the Hurricane Center on tropical depression. Depression number five, and this was as of early Thursday morning, anticipating a tropical storm by Thursday afternoon. Potentially, if it continues to get better organized, we could have Danielle right here. You'll notice as we look forward to Friday, it just kind of sits around here, doesn't move very much at all. By Saturday early morning, it could be Hurricane Danielle. Hurricane Center does develop it a little bit more and then it still kind of sits around but eventually starts to move off to the north. Again, it is out in the Atlantic away from land as it moves out as a hurricane through early Tuesday. Of course, we'll have plenty of time to watch that kind of do its thing. As we take a look at this area of investigation though, 91L. Here's what the Hurricane Center is doing with its forecast models. You can see a number of the models kind of turn it to the north. Some of them not even getting it all the way to Bermuda. A few of the models travel farther to the south. I can tell you the global models, what we look at to look out 10 to 14 days, a lot of those models kind of curve it back that way, but the European model keeps it a little farther south and kind of in this area. The Euro really doesn't show it coming together much at all. And in fact, it kind of gets picked up and then just kind of absorbed by another front kind of pushing into the area. So we'll see what happens. None of these solutions really present much of a threat to Hampton Roads, but it is going to be something that we will watch as things can change, obviously, in the coming days and weeks. So for now, that's an update on the tropics. We'll keep you updated on any changes. Be sure to tune into 13 News Now and find us on all of our digital platforms as well.